Okay, here's the desk we're going to be building today. You can see it's very simple, just as quick and cheap as possible. These are being donated to kids from low-income families who are learning from home right now. And what you want to do is get as much plywood as you need. You can get two desks per sheet and just start ripping everything to 18 inches. After 18, do some three and a half inch strips. Uh, you can see this is cheap Home Depot plywood that was only good on one side. I would definitely suggest getting better plywood that's good on two sides. I didn't catch that when I bought it and you can see this stuff isn't perfectly flat and it's got some rough knots and stuff like that. So once you have your three and a half inch strips you're gonna start cutting your legs. That angle there is 12, 12 degrees. We're gonna do that on all the angle cuts. So these are the front legs right there and then this little short piece we'll get to. You can see the desk is 18 by 30 and 5 inches tall. It's 29 overall. And then that short horizontal piece is 5 inches to the long point. That's going to connect your back and front legs. And I can send you the SketchUp file if you're interested or you can pause it to look at the rest of the measurements. So you're going to cut all the pieces you need and Craig jig these short pieces, two holes in each direction. So four holes per piece. What's that? Eight holes per desk. I did 20 desks so far. That was 160 holes. That got pretty monotonous. Kind of like my voice. And just make sure to sand all your ripped edges. <clears throat> I did 80 grit, I think. It doesn't have to be fine furniture making. Just doing it as quick as possible. So to attach the legs, I'm using one and a quarter coarse thread Craig screws. Just glue, crank, clamp, and screw. Once that's assembled, just sand those joints smooth. And then I did a round over on everything with an eighth inch round over bit. You could use quarter inch or just sand all the edges smooth. Wanted to get rid of any splinters and roughness. And then there, measuring up for the side cleat. These are going to be 14 and a half long and cut it 12 degrees on one end, straight on the other. Now I think here in the video I came up 10 inches from the bottom, but I ended up changing that to 8. I like that better. And come in 3 quarters from the back so that your back cleat can attach to those, which you'll see later. Just countersink and put four screws in. Here I'm cutting, cross cutting the top and bottom of the box at 30 and nailing and screwing it to the sides, which are those strips are three and a half by 18, the back is three and a half by 28 and a half, it goes in between those sides. Then the top, no screws, I just glued and nailed it. And you can fill the nail holes if you'd like. And just sand the front, sand everything, round it over, throw in screws where you feel they're needed. Once the box is built, I like to flip it upside down and build it this way. Come in three quarters from the back, three quarters up, four screws in each side. So you can see that plywood on the bottom is just a spacer. Now the back cleat is just a three and a half by 30 inch strip and we're going to do 
sand and round it all over, do four screws, well, two in each side, and then come in from the side with one screw. And that's it, it's already over. There's the finished product. I left it raw so that families could paint them fun colors if they'd like. Um, it took about an hour and a half per desk. There's my first delivery of 10 desks and 10 chairs. Um, with the plywood, I'd say it's 30 bucks a desk. The chairs are 10 bucks each. If you'd like to donate to help out, um, you're more than welcome. You can hit me up on Instagram, uh, my website, you can find more info and other woodworking I've done, and then my personal site, I've got some music and art on there available. And thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.